Hello everyone, Carol Undy here again with another tutorial on the Benina De Designer Plus version 6 software and today I'm going to look at some of the new fill stitches that have been added to the software since version 5. And the first one I'm going to look at is this one down here which is the ripple stitch. Now I've loaded a little design here that's in your floral section of your um, sample designs in your My Designs folder and I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to use the wheel on my um, mouse to zoom in rather than having to go up here and draw a box around and so I've zoomed in and you can see that this little flower has just an ordinary fill stitch in it. Now if I select that section of the flower I don't want to select the whole flower so I can either go select with my select tool and click on it and we're in artistic view so we can't really tell very clearly we have our nodes around here but it's a bit hard to tell that we've only selected the flower so there's a couple of ways you can be sure of selecting the right part and one is to go to your um, to go out of the artistic view and you'll see that only the flower not the stems has turned pink so we know we've only selected that the other way I'll just click off that is to go back to your artistic view if you like to work in that view, then go to your color film, select the objects like this and go down until you get to the flower section and just left click on that and you know that that's the only part that's selected. Once you've selected that, as you know, you could right click on it and go to your object properties and change the fill stitch, but we can also just go straight to our ripple fill here and you can see that that's immediately turned it into a ripple fill. Now the ripple fill spirals out from the center and continues out in the shape of the object that you have chosen and you can see it went right to the center even though the center of that flower was hollow. Let's just undo so I can show you that. You ha It had a circle in here. Um, if I go to the um, reshape object we can see that there was a circle digitized in here. Now when we put the ripple fill in it ignored that. Um, I would suggest that, that was a hole created and it's just ignored it and filled right in. So just be aware that it may do that when you are changing to the ripple fill. Let's go back to the select tool and ripple fill again. Now there's a few things you can do with the ripple fill. Let's go back to one to one just to see what that looks like on the end of the flower. That's quite attractive isn't it? Um, let's zoom in again. What can we do with the ripple fill? We can go to our, we can select it and go to our reshaped object and we can see that we have the original outlines here but we also have of the object but we also have this little um, mark pink node in the center. We can actually move that node to somewhere else in the design and it will center the ripple to that node. So let's go enter and see what happens. And as you can see it spirals out from that area. This petal here is a lot denser because it's um, as it spirals it spirals um, the same number of times around and because it has to fit in a smaller area they're closer together here and further apart on this side. Now if I move the node right outside the flower and press enter we can see we get this cone effect where it's actually rippled from around the node around that shape. This is quite an interesting effect. The only thing you need to be careful here is that this section here may get too dense if you're too close to this to the object um, here this may stitch a little bit too dense so you do need to test sew these objects but it can give you a whole different look to the flower as you can see um, and of course then you can go to your select and it doesn't look very clever placed here on the stem let's just zoom out a little bit um, we can make that look a bit better by rotating it. So let's left click on it and rotate the design around and now left click on it and move it. And reposition it so that it looks a lot different now. It looks like it belongs to the stem. So you can make a design look completely different by using the ripple stitch. Okay, let's 
zoom let's um, undo all of that and we're back to our original flower okay let's look at another one of the of the stitches added to the software and that is this one down here which is the star fill and um, so I've selected the flower again and I'm going to click on the star fill and as you can see the star fill creates stitches that radiate out from the center let's have a look at the reshape options we have with that okay we've got our original circle in the in the middle and this time it has actually used that to radiate out from um, if that wasn't there the software in the star field creates a circle in the middle because it can't stitch too densely um, so I'm going to delete this in a circle just to show you how that operates and so to do that I'm going to select these nodes and just delete them okay that's gone and press my enter button and now the the um, star fill has radiated out from the circle that the software created with the star fill so it's a smaller circle there will always be a circle in the middle so that these stitches in the center don't get too dense now again we've got a central central node which we can move in the design and you can see the circle moves with it and release it press enter so now the star fill has radiated out from this point now let's see what happens when we take that one outside the object enter it'll star fill it'll radiate from this point still as you can see the stitches are radiating out from this side of the circle if I move it closer it might be a little bit more obvious enter yes it's radiating out from the circle so you can create some interesting effects there just putting it back in the center because I think that's the most attractive now if you don't want a hole in the middle of your object um, you can actually um, cover that hole with another object so you can easily digitize yourself a circle by selecting the circle and left click in the center left click again on the outside and if you want a perfect circle just hit your enter button and that will fill with a normal fill stitch which you can change you can change the color so let's select that it always selects the last object we digitized let's change the color now we've only got one color to choose from because this design only had one color in it so let's go to thread colors let's increase our number of colors to two and let's click apply that will add us another color and this time it's a darker blue um, we'll just go with that now we could assign another color to that one but let's just go OK we now have two colors to choose from when we select our object we can go color and select the darker blue and it will turn the darker blue so you could um, put um, any sort of fill stitch you want in that you could use satin stitch so if we select it'll be the last object down here so it's easy to select by selecting here and let's change it to a satin fill by right clicking and going down to satin here and go apply and that looks quite nice so we can go OK so there's a couple of the new fill stitches I'm going to look at the um, sculptured fancy fill in the next video thank you very much if you like my videos subscribe you can comment too you can ask me questions um, I don't mind answering any questions you have about the videos or anything else about digitizing in the software and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon thank you